Hello world! Way of Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE e. Power. Now, I finished coding the blasted structure and I also added the start.d command. Basically what it does is it sets the counter, does all that height mumbo jumbo, and it basically tells by the dimensions should it start here, here, or here. Then it'll go to that, set the counters accordingly, and then mine the whole thing. Hopefully, depending on how the code is. So what I'm going to do is do some sort of, you know, like a dirt shack or something. Go like, ha ha, ha ha ha. And the dimensions are 2 by 2 by 1. 2, 2, 1. Dimensions. So I'm gonna code those in so it's two by two by one. Hopefully it works. Also, I should calibrate this for where it is currently. It's at 380, 90, and negative 259. 380, 90, negative 259. And let's actually clear that. Good. Let's see, 380, 90, negative 259? 380, 90, negative 259. Blah, whatever. Okay, this part, to operate this, how it should be right now, is that you need to be at where it is. So, raise 2, 91, raise 2. And I gotta get that out of the way. So it's moved. And then I need to move this to... 389 negative 255 389 negative 255 go 2 and it'll bring the blasted contraption over there and it looks like the timing is still good so it should arrive right above the first part yep it looks like it's on track nope it's not on track for some reason Maybe the calibration's off? Oh well. I'll just have to move it slightly, I guess. Why are you so difficult? Okay, that's correct. So I just need to do a plus Z. Plus Z. And maybe get the calibrations correct. It's at 91, sure. Jetpack, please. 91, yep, crash land. 38991, negative 255. 38191, negative 285. I think that's right. Okay, that should be right. So let's calibrate that. Yeah, shut up. Okay. Am I sure that's right? No, it's 389. <sighs> 389991-255. I really should write this stuff down while I'm calibrating it, you know? So nothing messed up happens. Anyways. Now we need... Uh, let's save this into base, then reboot it to see how much room we have. Okay, ready to reboot. I should have checked what type of disk was in that. Let's check. Okay, it's a writable disk. Whew, I thought it was a fourth disk for a second. I was like, oh no, what have I done? Anyways, let's create array. And let's do 100 cells a lot. And then do array. And that's the location. So we have to put array. Then what is it? Um, stupid, stupid, stupid. Duh. Okay, so what's array again? Array's address is at 9622. So supposedly, this should work. So let's try 
starting it and seeing if it deconstructs the entire thing. Okay, let's start this up. Crossing fingers. Hmm. Que. Okay, that's a little odd. Let's check the... Okay, it says that's 0. Z at 2. Bloody murder. Bloody, bloody, bloody murder. I was supposed to start right here. Okay, but still, it looks like there's a problem with the code at any rate. So let's just find a way to restart it, then see if we can actually get anything. <sighs> Sigh. So, 390-256. 390-256. 390-256. Go to, let's see if the calibration's off. Okay. Good? Yeah, good. So let's try start.d again. I might have to rewrite it. Okay. It broke it. Then why isn't it doing resume.d? Okay, there's a problem with resume.d. From what I see, from what I see, resume.d. <sighs> My code is ruined. So, it's obviously breaking the first part. That's okay. It's the resume.d that's the problem, and I don't see what's the issue. So what I'm going to do is dig around through my code, recode it a bit, see what the hell is wrong, and etc, etc, etc. That'll be fun. Okay, from my too long of tests, basically what I figured out was that my r.test word was... Uh, one of its conditions was making it go too far to the right so what I had to do was in our dot test subtract one from width so instead of x at width at equals etc I had to do x at width at one minus equals and that seems to solve the problem so what I'm going to have to do is recode the rest of it then see if I can get resume to work and I think that's it <sighs> yes this is a lot of coding so let's just cut to the chase and try this out we're going to have to create yet another array but we're going to make it a simple test array of 20 create array 20 cells a lot then we will put arrays address into array address. Oh my gosh, what a clever name. Who would have thought of that? <sighs> wow, I amaze myself sometimes. Okay, and then we're going to do a test of a 2x2x2 two by two by two cube. Yes, it is 2x2x2, two by two by two, and yes, it might dig a bit of a hole inside, but whatever. Let's do 2x2x2. Two by two by two dimensions and let's see if this works let's try start dot D if this doesn't work you will not see this clip ever unless I forgot to add it which would be a pain for me okay initial reactions are good and it's moving it did deconstruct everything so far now it's moving forward deconstructed putting it into memory moving now it should move down yep it moved down going over one more okay from the initial reactions it looks like it's working and one more it'll go down once more but then unfortunately break this block here so if you have some sort of whoa that was lagtastic Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move. 
Okay, it didn't move. That's great. Whew, it looks like it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now let's plus Y it out of that position. And see, yep, it's... That's a hole. That's a hole. Yep. Okay, the deconstruction module is a success. Now we're going to uh, reset it so that we only have start.d up to there and we check our words of annoyances and see that well we got a lot of stuff here now there are some improvements to be made on this system like adding a light sensor I can do easily just put a transmitter here and a light sensor here but that's not really necessary right now so we got the hard part done we got the deconstruction and placing into memory done Let's don't believe me. Let's check array one cells plus at at. What? Oh, yeah, rebooting. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we got that complete. Now what we're going to need to do is to put the construction module and make that. Now the construction module will use this instead of that because this one is a modified for wireless transceiverness, but you don't want it to be uh, tethered to the ground by using this monstrosity. So let's, yes, I am using dirt to mark out the corners. Sue me. No, please don't sue me, actually. That's a bit of a bother to get rid of. Okay, marking corners. Corners marked. And this one is going to be relatively simple to make. It's actually not too simple. We're going to need to make an assembler. An assembler will require a deployer and a bunch of awesomeness. I don't know if I have enough awesomeness to spare, but I think I can manage. And I got a lot of stuff in my little trunk, so I'm going to have to dump a few things off and then get right back at it okay I think I have everything I need I'll just need to get one of those one of those checking blueprints again I will need three iron that's simple three iron please monsieur and we're going to need one more thing which is escaping me but should be very obvious deployer thank you and we can make this for my very first um, assembler I've ever made. Yes, I did use it in the 3D printer, but I never actually made it. So we can thank Awesomeness for that. Okay, the assembler is going to be our main feature point. Ooh, fancy. And now to put these as our four corner bits. Stop lagging me. I am annoyed. Okay. So it's not going to actually use all these frames, but it's nice as a little, you know, thing to do, whatever. Anyways, assembler, there. And I dig a hole the wrong way. There we go. Now the assembler will need a constant, well, not constant, but it will need a redstone signal. Redstone signal due to... Uh, these things. Now, I'm not sure if a bundle cable will connect to this, like this, but we gotta try. And we have to change it to the color-coded one to make it a bit more interesting. And we're going to need to do a few things. The most important part is getting a big enough... Uh, I'd like to say it's kind of an array, or but it's array doesn't really suit this situation quite adequately we're going to need a lot of computers and when I say a lot I mean a lot yes I will eventually fix this module but it currently is not going to be fixed because I need the stuff more than it does thank you Danke schön. Uh, maybe I'll eventually deconstruct that and move it to the overworld or some other 
Ah, a mining age. That would be perfect. So now you're probably wondering, hey, Wei, what are you doing? I have no clue what you're doing. You are an idiot. Well, most of that stuff is true. I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but anyways. So what I am doing, since I actually do know what I'm doing, is here is the CPU. It is, well, not really central because it's not in the center. But that's beside the point. The main purpose of the CPU is to hold all of the, well, the memory stuff that will be required for this. How it does that is fairly simple in the fact that, well, it's paid to do its job. Nah, I'm getting ahead of my, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of being butchering. Anyways, going onwards. As the clever eye would see that I have enough room for four RAM modules. Some of you will realize why I would want four. The reason I would want four is because four would give me a lot, and I mean a lot of room, for storage of arrays. So I could make a lot bigger uh, machines. Not machines, but... You know, I'm just going to stop talking or something because I am not doing myself justice whatsoever. <sighs> I'm going to attempt anyways. One more time, folks. One more time. Ah, and I put the computer in the wrong place. Not really the wrong place, but eh, actually that works. Okay. Yep, scatterbrained. Okay. Basically, one RAM module... If you just have one RAM module all itself, that's 8 kilobytes of memory. Each block, when in the array, takes 2 bytes. So that's 4,000 blocks for each RAM module. If you take 4,000, or in this case 4096, fancy calculator, and do the cube root of it, you will get what would happen if you tried to do a cube with that and you'll get 16 so one RAM module is enough for a 16 by 16 by 16 cube by having three extra RAM modules you'll be able to make a lot more cubes in one memory slot which is always good so now let's get into a bit more tricky space of where everything goes Everything will need to go, so bye now. <sighs> wow, I am just stupid. Stupid, stupid. I need uh, ribbon cables. Ribbon cables will be what I need. Okay, so we'll need to get some of that. Um, where, where is it? Do I not have any of those? I probably don't. There we go. They're probably hidden in the system somewhere. So I'll get those three, create my uh, ribbon cables since I will need them. And they will pretty much connect everything together. Now, normally, how I have this is that all of the machines are connected right together. So I don't have to worry about ribbon cables. But... Uh, with some toying around, I haven't figured out a good way for them to be all connected with how everything is. Ouch. But this should be good. Now, that might be a problem because I'm not sure if it'll actually connect, though we won't be able to tell right away. Okay. Now, this system will call for two I.O. expanders. One of them will go to the assembler. This cable might need to move there. But the I.O. expander will be here or here. Actually, it might need to be there because there won't be any room otherwise. But that might work, actually. Put the I.O. expander here, have it connect there, put a block of awesome there to disconnect it, and put the disk drive here since we will want it to be easily accessible with the monitor. And let's put the I.O. expander of movement right here. So the I.O. expander of movement will be the easiest done because it will stay three. It will stay three. No matter what, it will stay three. 
Did I say it'd be three? Yes, it will be three. How do you know? Since I said. Anyways, the other expander will be four. So let's see if we can make another expander. I probably don't have the memory. Okay, I do have enough stuff for another expander, so let's just make that. Okay, got the expander. The expander, I think, will go here. And to make sure that everything is good, we'll have this go here. And how about we change the address right away as not to confuse ourselves. Four. Yay. Four. Good. And place that down. And place this down. Good. And we're going to need to place this with here. This will need to go on. I think it will have to be this. Ah, so difficult. Okay, that's good. And now the next part is that we'll have to maintain connection of each and every single part. Mainly the, you know, these things. So that'll mean we have to get rid of that. And when we finally place the extra RAM modules, they'll be in those locations. While this is here, getting connected right away. I think right away. Right, right away. Right away. Right away, right away, and that's good. Okay, now, currently it is a bit difficult to get that way over there, so what I'm just going to do is, well, bring it there manually, which is a pain in the butt, calibrate it, and then we'll have to code the construction module. I still don't have a good name for this. So if you happen to have a good name, instead of me just saying construction, deconstruction, and all of that stuff, the assembler. I'll probably forget, but I want to go with the assembler as of right now. Okay. How about we just move that onto the assemblers and connect it so that I won't be a rambling moron and then we can get coding to the assembler. Now the assembler, it's pretty much going to be exactly the same as my quarry. Yeah, more same than the deconstructor. The same, I mean, whatever. And in the but instead of going down, it'll be going up, so it'll start in this corner, then work its way to a point. Then it'll go up instead of down, and placing blocks all the same depending on what's in its memory. Okay, let's move that thing. Woohoo! Okay, I can say pretty much with a lot of honesty that I'm not interested in doing a lot more coding today. So what I'm going to do is leave that uh, stuff from way over there for now and focus on some of the more important things to get my stuff more efficient. Now I will need to craft a few more of these uh, tanks of awesome. Yes, lava is awesome. It is so sparkly and everything. <sighs> I amaze myself sometimes. And we'll need to focus on getting, well, more machines will be one of the things, but two I realize that recyclers are not very efficient in the fact that, well, you need a lot of cobble for them, but you'll also need a lot of recyclers to be able to get out close to enough scrap for this machine over here. And I will need quite a bit more if I want to get, well, more, but I if I don't want to use the mass fabricator, I do have a lot of energy that I'll be able to use. You know, I should make a ladder, but I'm too lazy. But what I'm not lazy about is uh, listening to that one flaming kid back there. Yes, you shut up. I hope you're happy. I'm going to make some overclocker upgrades. Overclocker upgrades are a rather simple thing to make. I just need a lot of cells, coolant cells, which require water cells that are extracted and empty cells and lots of cells. And oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Cells. 
and overclockers basically make all of the industrial craft machines a lot quicker. However, they do take a bit to make, not as much as other things do. But, well, I'm running out of copper. I don't really have any copper in my system whatsoever, so it will be a bit impossible to make the stuff. So, I'm going to have to use the macerators to be able to upgrade the macerators to make stuff with the macerators. Isn't that exciting? I will not have you near me. I am throwing a wrench in your plans. And also, it's hammer time. I should really make a sword. Huh. Anyways, these macerators are done. I got enough iron dust as it is. I can take the iron out of here and fill these up with, you got it, stuff that I don't have in my inventory. Da -da. Okay, throw the copper in here so that I can make more copper, which is very fun. And you know what I could do is just uh, skip to the process of me making it by going grabbing some of the copper from the system that I have and making some of it the good old fashioned way of using an arcane magic that, you know, defies all physics. So let's just throw a lot more iron into the system. Hey, why not? More, more, more. Can't have a lot more. And we got a lot of copper for which we can throw around and be merry with. Now, where are our ingots? Ingots will go in here. Fill the rest of the stuff with your heart's content, please. Like, quickly, I want to craft stuff. And now I'll be able to make the... Uh, let's go with six overclockers right away. So six overclockers, that means we'll need 12 of these. Got enough rubber, and we'll need to make six of these. Ah, redstone. Redstone, you are my bane, the bane of my entire existence. <sighs> think I'm a little over dramatic? I don't think so. What makes you say that? <sighs> Anyways, I think that's enough redstone to satiate the entirety, so let's make uh, six quick before I uh, lose it. Too late. Okay, got it. Now, coolant cells. We're going to need, uh, not 12, but we're going to need 18 cells of these. 18 of those, and we're going to need a water spring to be able to make that stuff. So, I'll wait for these, wait for the coolant cells. Takes a while. Yeah, I know. And there we go. Here are the cells. Blup, 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 blup. Okay, and we need some sort of source of water. I don't think I have any sort of infinite spring, do I? Huh. Overworld, finally. <sighs> it's for those people wondering why I don't go into overworld much, there are two reasons. One, the base is ugly. I kind of forgot about the charge on the hammer, so... Yeah, Shazam! And also, too, it's a bit difficult. I just don't want to talk about it. Anyways, now take this out, take that out. I don't think I have enough for another bucket. But let's go just get as much water as we can. Hoping that I don't die. Okay, more water, more water. And it looks like I... I am destroying my infinite spring, aren't I? Three, two, one. Bam! Oh. Rain, I have never been as happy to see you as I am right now. <sighs> but can you just go away? No, like seriously, go away. I don't want to see you. Thank you. So we got 18 water cells. We're going to need to make 18 coolant cells by using the extractor and more energy. Small price to pay, really, though. Over here, we can throw this in the extractor. And it'll take a bloody long time, of course. 
But we <coughs> don't worry. I'm just dying. No problem whatsoever. <coughs> huh, that's unfortunate. Uh, apparently, the world does not like coolant cells because they do not stack. So I'm gonna have to manually make each and every single one. And I think the first overclocker will go on my macerators. And I think let's just put one on each machine since that's the that's the fair thing to do, you know? I just can't see myself not doing that because it's the most fair I can ever do. Uh, now let's put it here. That'll make it a bit quicker. Not sure how much quicker, but it will make it slightly so I can make all those overclockers. Now, while that is going steadily stronger and everything, let's talk about a few of the plans that we're going to need to do. Do I have a timer anywhere? Where did I put that bloody timer? Timer, where are you? The timer hates me, apparently. I do not reach its expectations. Oh well, let's just not worry about that. Now, I am going to need to plot out a bit more land. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm thinking next to my Buildcraft building. And that is relatively taint-free. Not, well, could be worse. Could figure out some sort of way to get it a bit quicker, but we do have enough crystals to, well be happy and jolly and wow it's really raising up the V's in this area but what I was saying was that we are probably able to make a thaumatorium now I'm not sure would it be a good idea to just knock this out and add the thaumatorium here well yeah it would be seeing as it is such a high V's area though we can create another high V's area just by putting a lot of bloody crystals down since well we do have enough for that but the thaumatorium will be slightly different from my other buildings well one it'll deal with thaum craft stuff like V's and stuff like that you know all the exciting stuff but also it will deal with, um, well, I want it to be kind of similar to the build craft stuff, though. Th no, wait. Mind formulating ideas. Yes. Let's finally find a thaumatic enchanter. We need to make a thaumatic enchanter because I want to blow stuff up with a fire sword instead of just this dark matter hammer of awesomeness, though it does have its privileges also I'm going to want to get this glowstone arrangement and you know I think enough eternalist fuel to make a few more uh, alchemical devices of EE powerness and we'll be able to slowly upgrade all of our stuff into more useful endeavors also you know, saying also so many times, I never get tired of it. But as I was saying, 